Welcome to day five. What is the creative obstacle I discovered on day five? Well, actually, it's not like they are coming to me one after another, one per day. No, no, no. Sometimes they are coming in swarms. But this one today, I became aware of when I was already 90% into one painting and I realized there was something I didn't do before I even started it. I didn't envision enough what's supposed to be in different parts of the painting. Is it necessary? Not at all. I know that many people don't work like this. They just start and they solve things in the process. And if you are new here, I am creating 21 videos for 21 creative obstacles. I just came back to making art. I want to make it more deliberate. I want to keep making art and not get distracted by different obstacles. You know how it is. We want to do something and then life happens and then we forget. The obstacle I'm describing today is lack of a vision, not envisioning enough before starting the work. I used to spend one third of time envisioning the painting and then two thirds of time just painting. And I was pretty happy with the results. And recently, Actually, I have several paintings that are unfinished because I didn't do the initial work. I am very happy with my sketches. So I have an idea, I sketch it, and then I start painting the main characters of the painting. And then I get stuck in the last details. So I have to go back to the drawing board and envision start painting without having a good idea what's supposed to be there. I repaint, I waste paint, I take it all down, often coming back to the original version, and I'm getting more frustrated along the way. And visioning means that I have a better idea about what I'm doing. I can enjoy the process more. It's all about enjoying it more, because why would I torture myself more? No good reason. Maybe I'm delusional that I want to make this work easy, enjoyable, and light. Now, am I contradicting myself? A few days ago, I told you not to overthink. By the way, this is still something I'm doing. There is a difference between envisioning and overthinking. So envisioning is done in the state of relaxation, in a place of flow unrushed place of relaxation. It is free. It is inspired. It is most often fun. It is co-creation, co-creation with the spirit. And overthinking, on the other hand, feels like work. And after you are done overthinking, then you really have to take a nap. Overthinking is like reasoning. You choose out of limited possibilities. You are pushing and forcing yourself. So that is all related to the sixth chakra. Any process of manifestation has to go through the eight chakras. And right now I'm talking about spending more time in chakra six and maybe chakra five. Chakra five is about verbal communication. It is about choices. And what if during the process of envisioning, we also start choosing words, adjectives, and feelings that we want to be included in our piece of art? Now, if you are game, let's take a nap and relax and envision what we want to create. And let's choose the words out of the big dictionary of words floating in our minds and start creating more deliberately. But tell me in the comments, do you have a project, artistic project that you are putting away? You have the deep longing to do this. If you could create, if you had the time, the resources available to you, what would you create? What's your creative dream? Thank you for subscribing to my channel and for liking my videos. I really appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow.